in this video, I'm going to show you how to open a new activity with an image button. All you have to do is click on the image and it'll open up your new activity. Go to your explorer and find an image you like. So for instance on Google, I found this image of a mountain scene that I kind of like. I'm going to click view image. I'm going to right click on the image and click save image as. And we're just going to call it image.jpg and then we're going to save it to my documents. Click save. I already have one like that, so I'm just going to replace it. Then we need to go to Android Studio and go to our drawable folder here. Right click on it, go down to Show in Explorer, and go to Documents, and you'll see our image. We're going to copy and paste that. So right click on it and click Copy. Then go back to our drawable folder, or our project folder rather. Now you notice here we have one drawable folder, but we have all these different mitmap folders. So what you're going to want to do is create a drawable folder just like each one of these. So we want a drawable.hdpi, mdpi, and all, etc. Temporarily, let's just paste our photo into here. Now we need to create new folders. So let's right click and click new, new folder, and type drawable-mdpi. Now you see we have our mdpi folder. That stands for medium density pixel independent. Basically, that's our smaller screen size for pictures. Then we need to add another drawable folder for our high density pixel independent photos, like so. Of course, we're gonna need a whole bunch of those, so let's make a few more. We're gonna need an XHDPI, an XX one, and a triple X one. Okay, so now we have all our different folders. Let's go down to image and copy it again. So right click and click copy. Now go to our first one, our HDPI, paste that photo in there, go back, paste the photo in our MDPI, and our X one, and our XX one, and our triple X one. Now you can go down here to the bottom and delete that photo since we no longer need it. X out of this and you'll be back in Android Studio. Now you can click on our drawable folder and you'll find all the images right here. Now to add the image to our button, we need to go over here and find image button and just click it into our activity. Now let's go over here to the side and we're gonna need to specify a few items. So we'll go to our ID and we need to set that equal to my image button or really anything works, but my image button seems pretty easy for this tutorial. We're also going to want to search for a source. So let's go S R C. Just click and type these letters and you'll see it here. Then we can click this three dot menu. We'll find a drawable section here and let's look, see if we can find our picture. Oh, there it is. It's image. Or if that is a little too complicated for you, you can also do the at drawable right here. And that works pretty good also. Now we need to add some code to our activity. So let's go to our main activity up top here. And you're going to see a few things that we need to add. First, we need to declare our image button. To do that, we're going to type image button up here above our onCreate method and add my image button. This doesn't do anything except declaring that we have our button. So now let's go inside our first method here. So before the bracket, and we need to add my image button equals image button find view by ID r dot id dot my image button or whatever you named it here in our id field since i named it my image button that's what i'm going to put there next we need to do one last thing for this class and we need to call our image button and set a listener to that so let's set an on click listener let's set that to a new view dot on click listener and this should auto fill for you once you just start typing and then in our on click we're going to need an intent so let's make an intent i'm going to call it intent load new activity and set that equal to a new intent which first has the activity we're in which is main activity and then the one we want to load so we're going to create this new activity class in a second and then finally we'll start activity intent load new activity which is this intent so here when i click the button when we run the app when we run the app it'll open the new activity so we need to create this activity that we see here so go up to app and click right click and click new and go down to activity and go to empty activity then type new activity or whatever works for you but i'm just going to call it new activity so now you'll see in our main activity that this is actually a thing now and it's not in red anymore so let's go here and we have just blank we don't really need to mess with this yet let's just add a little bit of text here like let's say you click the button hopefully now when you click the run button and run your app it should look something like this hopefully you guys learned a lot in this video if you need any help feel free to contact me in the comments otherwise until